We're rolling. Action. Showtime. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. This is Bikram 60 Minutes, and I'm Marsha. And let's start with pranayama. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Interlace your fingers underneath your chin. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Have a smile on your face. Let's have a great practice. Inhale, stretch your elbows up towards the ceiling. Try to touch the ceiling, full lungs. Exhale, now H-A, ha sound. Push your head back and try to stretch your elbows forward towards the mirror in front of you and elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Now suck your stomach in. Stretch your elbows up towards the ceiling. Let the nostrils flare, full lungs. Exhale, now push your head back. H-A, ha sound. You're trying to eliminate all of the toxic carbon dioxide out of the lungs. Exhale a little bit more. Inhale, stretch the elbows up. Full lungs, slight constriction of the back of the throat. That's going to take it deep into the lungs, deep into the rib cage. Exhale, push your head back. Way back. Look for the wall behind you. Elbows touch away from the chest. Good. Inhale, head down. Suck your stomach in. Rib cage visible in the front mirror. Suck it in. Hold it in. Rib cage visible. Exhale, push your head back. Look for the wall behind you. If you take your eyes back more, that will help. And if you stretch your elbows forward more, that will help. Inhale, head down. Suck your stomach in. Stretch your elbows up. Stretch your elbows back a little bit at the top, really opening up the chest. Exhale, push your head back. H-A, ha sound. Think of the rib cage as an accordion as you inhale and exhale. Inhale, stretch elbows up. Let's do two more. This one, stretch up even more. Exhale, push your head back. Keep exhaling more and more and more. Last time, inhale, biggest breath for one, two, three, four, a little bit more, five, a little bit more, six. Exhale, push your head back, one, two, three, four, five, a little bit more, six. Good. And that's enough. Arms down by your side. So maybe roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Let go of any tension stress that you might have. Let it go for this practice. Let's do Ardha Chandrasana with Padha Hastasana. We'll do two sets. So feet together, toes and heels touch, chest up, shoulders relax, belly in, tailbone down. Inhale, stretch arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, and cross your thumbs. Hands, palms together, light glue up to the wrist. Now stretch up, try to touch the ceiling, and then bend your body right and left, right and left, right and left. So maybe pause in the center and really stretch up and try to touch that ceiling in the center there, right, left, right, left. You want to feel stretching down both sides of the body. Good. Let's go ahead, stop in the center. Now weight is in your heels. Hips come forward a little bit to open up the hips and pelvis, upper body back, opening up the chest and rib cage. Chest is lifted. Good. Stretch up. Out of the waist one more time. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line. Bend your body to the right and push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Creating tremendous stretching feeling. Left side body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. A tiny bit of weight in that left foot and a tiny pull with your right hand will help create that tremendous stretch left side body. Your weight, weight is in the heels. Hips go forward a little bit. Upper body back, chin away from the chest. Now let's bring that left hip forward to keep two hips in one line. Scoop that right shoulder forward. Open up the chest. Come down, push, push, push. Inhale, come up, stop in the center. Exhale, pause. And then inhale, stretch up out of the waist again. Absolutely straight line. Bend your body to the left. Without bending your elbows or knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, creating tremendous stretching feeling. Right side body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Weight in the heels, hips forward, chest is lifted, arms back, chin away from the chest. Both legs and arms are straight. Bring your right hip forward, bring your left shoulder forward. Come down, push, come down, push, come down, push. Inhale, come up, stop in the center. First back bend. So maybe take it a little easy. Take a deep breath. Now weight's going to be in your heels, and those hips are going to go forward for a counterbalance. So weight in the heels, and then take your head back. Now shake your head a couple times. Relax the head. And then look for the wall behind you. 
stretch your arms up and then take the arms back and immediately try to touch the wall behind you. Total spine backward bending from the coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back and try to fall down backwards. Push your legs, stomach, hips, everything more towards the front mirror. Look back, fall back, arms back, go back, way back, more back. Amazing. Inhale, come up, stop in the center. Now, nice and slow, bend your knees. Place your hands on the floor, separate your hands, move your hips right and left, right and left. Nice and slow here. It's a big U-turn from a back bend to a forward fold, so we want to be careful. Your spine's not quite warmed up yet, so maybe bend the knees, shake your head, sit down into a squat, maybe do a little bouncing. Bouncing is good for immune system. But just kind of let go. If you clench or grind your teeth, open your mouth and really move the jaw around. Stick out your tongue even. Relax that jaw. All right, Padahastasana, feet back together. If you let them come apart, bend your knees, grab your heels from behind. Stepping on all five fingers of each hand, little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Nice tight grip. Good, elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles. Try not to lose this grip. Now pull on your heels as hard as possible. Stretching your body down towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, no gap anywhere. Now continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching this posture. As you're pulling, push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees. Nice. Good. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Exhale, breathing. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Last chance. Touch your face. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Go for it. Lock your knees. Inhale, breathing arms and head together. Opposite way you went down, you slowly come back up. Perfect. Arms down by your side. And breathe. Ah, oh, let's do that one again. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Inhale, arms overhead. Now maybe take opposite grip. So opposite pinky finger on the outside. Help break up those habits and patterns that you have you don't even know you have. Stretch up, interlace the fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Stretch up, hands, palms together, light glue up to the wrist. Now if you lift your chest using the muscles right along the bra line, those arms will go back a little bit more by the ears. Yeah, now pull the belly in. Stretch up out of the waist right there below the rib cage. Touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line, bend your body to the right. Push your hips to the left. Beyond your flexibility. Keep both legs straight. Keep both arms straight. Your right arm wants to bend. Don't let it. In fact, pull your left hand with your right hand. Pull over and push those hips to the left. Create that tremendous stretching feeling. Left side body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Weight is in your heels and your hips are forward a little bit. Upper body back, chin away from the chest. Bring that left hip forward. Scoop that right shoulder forward. Come down, push. Come down, push. Come down, push. Inhale, come up, stop in the center. Stretch up out of the waist. Absolutely straight line, bend your body to the left. Push your hips to the right. And a tiny bit of weight in that right foot and a tiny pull with your left hand will help keep your left arm straight and help create that tremendous stretch right side body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Good, chest is lifted. Hips forward, upper body back. Chin away from the chest. Bring that right hip forward to keep two hips in one line. Scoop that left shoulder forward. Open up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push. Come down, push. Come down, push. Inhale, come up, stop in the center. Second back bend. Let's go for it. So take a deep breath. Stretch up. Try to touch the ceiling. Maybe draw your chin down a little bit like you're trying to give yourself a double chin. And then draw your chin head back like you're trying to give yourself a double chin and then take your head back. That will open up some space in the neck. Now stretch up. And then take your arms back. Immediately try to touch the wall behind you. Now, keep taking your eyes back. Maybe trace the ceiling with your, with your eyes and keep trying to touch something and touch something else. Weight in the heels. And then counterbalance that by taking your hips forward. Take your eyes back. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Oh, beautiful. Inhale, come up. So nice. And then bend your knees. Nice and slow. Place your hands on the floor in front of you. Separate your hands, move your hips right and left, right and left. So your low back might right now might be going, hey, what's going on, right? Um, because uh, that's really making the back muscles work. We want that, strengthen the back muscles and opening up the front body. So we wanna be careful here though. So we move nice and slow, shaking out the hips, shaking the head, maybe sit into a squat, let it all go. 
All right, then grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand, bending those knees <coughs> if you need to. Get those hands underneath, all five fingers, uh, stepping on all five fingers, little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Nice tight grip. Good. Now pull on your heels. Try to get the elbows behind the calf muscles throughout the posture. Stretch your body down towards the floor, so top of the head towards the floor, looking between the legs. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, no gap anywhere. Continuously keep pulling. Now push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees. Locking your knees does not mean hyperextending. It means a straight leg with quadriceps engaged. And lock your knees. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Exhale, breathing. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Touch your face. Last chance. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Inhale, breathing. Arms and head together nice and slow. You come back up. Oh, arms down by your side. Yes, what a great day to be alive. Let's do Utkatasana, just one set. Right foot step to the right, six inches between your toes and your heels. So you want your feet right underneath your hips. Now here's the thing. Most women think their hips are really wide, uh, and they're not. So we're talking hip bones, right? So about six inches between the toes and the heels. Keep that. Now don't change your feet. Bring your arms up parallel to the floor. Stretch your fingers forward towards the front mirror. Engage those triceps nice and contracted there. Suck your stomach in and sit your butt back like you're sitting into a chair. Good. Spine straight to begin with. Maximum weight in the heels. Now lift your chest up. Total spine backward bending. So weight's in your heels. Sit your butt way back. See if you can get it back even farther. Good. Keep stretching your fingertips towards the front mirror. Good. Now try to lean back into the heels. You're trying to fall down backwards. Keep the six inches between the feet, knees, and hands. Lean back, fall back, way back. Inhale, come up. Concentrate, meditate. Come up onto your tippy toes. Maximum like a ballerina. Good. Now, keep your heels invisible here. Stretch up. Think about those strong ankles. And sit down on top of your toes. Hips and head touching the wall from start to finish. So don't lean forward and don't lean back. Good. Only go down halfway into the chair. That looks amazing. Chest up, chin up, knees up. Come a little bit higher on the toes. Now slide back up that wall. Try not to lean forward or back. Oh, so nice. Heels down. Keep your arms there. Relax your jaw. Make sure you're breathing. Come up a little bit on the toes. Last one. Squeeze your legs to your knees together. Now, without leaning forward or back, Slide down the imaginary wall behind you. Hips and head touching the wall from start to finish all the way down. At least 10 counts. As slow as possible. All the way down. All the way down. Good. Keep stretching your spine up towards the ceiling. Half inch gap between hips and heels. Now we're only doing one set of this. So if you want to squeeze those knees together and bounce a couple of times, you could. Slide back up the wall with control. Try not to lean forward. I know, super hard. Ah, right foot back to place, arms down by your side. Oh, I know, that one's hard. All right, let's do eagle pose, one of my faves. So good for your lymphatic system, let's do it. Feet together, toes and heels touch, just one set. Then we get our break. Inhale, sweep arms up overhead. Bring your right elbow underneath your left elbow, cross, twist like ropes. Now get those shoulders away from the ears, kind of sh kind of shimmy those shoulders down. Pull your elbows down, but lift your chest. I want you to feel that compression in the chest armpit area. Suck your stomach in and sit back like you're sitting into that chair. Get your butt way back, like back that thing up. And then arch your upper body back. And then stay down there. Lift your right leg as high as possible over that left leg. Cross, twist like rope. Yes. Try to hook that foot behind calf muscle. One day it will happen. Good. And then no gap underneath or between the ankle and the calf muscle. Breathe. Settle. Settle your breath. If the foot is slipping, sit down lower. If you're losing the balance, arch your body, upper body back. Change. Inhale, come up. Arms overhead. Left elbow underneath, right elbow, cross twist. So shimmy those shoulders away from the ears. Pull the elbows down, but lift your chest up. Suck your stomach in. Sit back like you're sitting into the chair. Now arch your upper body back. There's your counterbalance. Arching upper body back. Stay down there. Left leg as high as possible over right leg, cross twist. Now, if you feel like you're going to fall, don't uh, hold your breath. Don't try to be stick straight. Actually soften on the exhale. Settle in. Breathe. The foot is slipping. Sit down lower. Arch your upper body back. 
change. Inhale, come up. Arms overhead. That was excellent. Arms down by your side. And a little celebration. So maybe a little sip of water. Remember, don't gulp your water. Also remember, uh, stay hydrated. Um, always stay hydrated, but particularly now, stay hydrated. Your lymphatic system, your lymph is mostly water. So if, you are if you're dehydrated, it's not going to move through the system. You're not going to get rid of those toxins that we need to get rid of out of our body. So make sure you're staying hydrated. All right. We have uh, standing single stance postures, which include locking the knee. So I know when I first started Bikram and I heard lock the knee, lock the knee, lock the knee, I was horrified. I was like, what the heck? What are they saying? Don't lock the knee. No, you're going to lock the knee. It doesn't mean hyperextend. It means your leg is straight. You're engaging those quadriceps. It's actually super good for you. It's a game changer, locking the knee. Shift your weight to the left foot. And wipe your hands if you need to. Grab your right foot. This is head to knee. Grab your right foot about three inches below the toes. Nice tight grip, thumbs included. Now settle right here, breathe. Lock out your left knee. It's solid concrete lamppost. You have no left knee. Look at it in the mirror. Focus one point on that knee. If that knee is locked, inhale breathing. Right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until it's exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Left knee locked. Push down into that left foot and kick your right heel forward. Turn your foot back towards the face. Good. And then if both knees are locked, bend the elbows down. Eventually they go below calf muscle. We are doing two sets here. Breathe change. So no holding the breath. Holding breath hijacks the nervous system, so don't hold the breath. Wipe your hands, shift your weight to the right, and grab your left foot three inches below the toes. Nice tight grip. Thumbs included. Once you get the foot, pause here. Now, I'm okay if you bend the knee to get that foot, but once you get the foot, and I know some teachers would disagree with that, but once you get the foot, then you have to lock the knee for sure. So lock the knee. We'll restart. <laughs> yeah, reach down, grab that foot. Every, you know, every good thing deserves a good do-over, right? So focus one point on that right knee in the mirror. Solid concrete lamppost. You got it. Inhale, breathing, left leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until it's exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Right knee locked. Continuously kick that left heel forward. Turn the foot back. Don't pull on the foot. Turn it back so the toe is back towards your face. You actually should be able to let go of that left leg right now, and it just stays right up there. Oh, bend the knee. I'm not bending. Bend the elbows. Eventually, elbows go below calf muscle. Change. Good. And so I like what Jen did just there because she came out of the posture, and however, she, she did come out of the posture, but she ended on one leg, right? So if you fall out of the posture, just end the posture on one leg, right? That's, I mean, that's what it's about, just standing on one leg, working on that balance. So that's super good. If you want, put your hands on your hips. Take your hips forward and go into your back bend there. It feels good. Hips forward. You feel what that feels like. That's what we should be doing in our back bends in the beginning. All right, let's do second set. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Wipe your hands. Shift your weight to your left foot. Pick up your right foot. A couple inches below the toes. Nice, tight grip. Now your left knee is locked here. So once you get the foot, get yourself settled. Lock out your left knee. Make sure it's locked. If it's not locked, don't go any farther. If it is, inhale, breathing, right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until it's exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Left knee locked. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. When both knees are locked, looks like an upside down L from the side. Bend the elbows down. If they go below calf muscle, body down, chest down, tuck your chin, look at your stomach, and touch your forehead to knee. Change. Breathe, wipe your hands, shift your weight to the right foot. Grab your left foot, three inches below the toes. Nice, tight grip. Now right here, lock out that right leg. Solid, concrete, lamppost. You have no right knee. If that's happening, left leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until it's exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Now really kick that left heel forward. Left heel kicks forward, toes back towards your face. If both knees are locked, bend the elbows down. If they go below calf muscle, body down, chest down, tuck your chin. Touch your forehead to knee. Change. Good. Hands on your hips. Push those hips forward. Take your upper body back. There's your back bend. Good. 
All right, let's do uh, bow pose, standing bow pose. Two sets, feet together, toes and heels touch. Bring your right hand up, palm facing up. Drop it down, elbow still touching the body. Reach back and grab the inside of your right ankle. Left arm up, chin close to shoulder. Now your left knee is locked here. Breathe, settle. Let's go, ladies. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. You're thinking about your right leg being straight eventually. Get your body down, so abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Good. You should see your right foot in the center of your head in the mirror. Stretch your left arm forward. Kick back. Kick up. The harder you kick, you balance forever. That was good, though. That was good. You gave it one big kick there at the end. If you fall out, try again. You're like, oh, man, I wish you wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Stretch forward, body down, kick up. Go for it, Rebecca. Kick, kick, kick. Yes. Change. That was good. All right. Shake it off. Let it go. We are doing two sets. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Because we like the fun ones, so we do those twice. So bring your right, left hand up, palm facing up. Elbow touching the body. Drop it down. Pick up that left foot from the inside of the ankle. Try not to get the arch, to get the ankle. And then right arm up, chin close to shoulder. Settle. Right here, relax your jaw. Use your breath. Take a deep inhale. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror simultaneously. Kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Keep kicking so that your left shoulder is invisible behind your right shoulder, two shoulders in one line. Keep kicking. Body down. Keep kicking. The harder you kick, you balance forever. If you fall out, try again. Body down. Kick up. Let's go for it. Kick up one more time. Go. Stretch, stretch, kick, stretch, kick. Yes, yes, yes. Change. Oh, oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. All right. You'll have to screenshot that one and make it your new profile pic. <laughs> All right. So let's do that again. So much fun. Feet together. Toes and heels touch. Right hand up, palm facing up. Drop it down, kick, uh, bring your right foot back and grab the inside of your right ankle. Left arm up, chin close to shoulder. Now use your breath here. Remember, if you hold your breath, you hijack the nervous system, then you're gonna fall. So try to soften somewhere, soften the jaw, soften your gaze, stretch up. When you're ready, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Kick a little, stretch a little. Breathe, kick a little, stretch a little. Kick back, kick up, keep kicking. Kick up one more time. Yes, yes, change. Good. Now, I find it helpful uh, in the beginning of that posture to relax the arm a little bit, right? Because we're trying to open up the chest, pec minor, and chest muscles here. However, once we get so far with the kick, then I find it helpful to actually use this arm in to pull that leg even higher. So right at the end, see if it helps, maybe it doesn't. Uh, let's see, we need to do left side, correct? Feet together, toes and heels touch, last one. R left hand up, palm facing up, drop it down, pick up your left ankle from the inside. So right knee is locked here, it's solid. Right arm up, chin close to shoulder, breathe. Take a deep breath, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror simultaneously. Kick your left leg back and up. Just regroup, breathe, keep kicking, keep stretching. Stretching, kicking, 50-50. Kick back, kick up. Now, once you kick up so much, use that left arm to lift that foot up. Yes. Kick, kick, and go. Change. Very nice. Release. All right. Let it go. Shake it off. All right. Uh, what do we got? Bal uh, bouncy stick. One set. So come to the back of your mat. Feet together. Toes and heels touch. Inhale, arms overhead. We're only doing one set, so if you want to take that awkward grip, you can. And then release index fingers and cross thumbs. Now stretch out. Again, if you use your back muscles right at the bra line to lift your chest, the arms will automatically go back by the ears a little bit more. Here we go. Right foot steps forward, a big step. 
point your left toe, lock both knees, and come down. Everybody head, body, leg, everything parallel to the floor. Looks like a capital letter T, not a broken umbrella. That looks so good, y'all. Keep that left hip down. Lock your knee, point your toe. Stretch your arms forward. T just take your eyes to the mirror for your big toe. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, perfection. Step back. Y'all, that is so hard. And you guys made it look like a piece of cake. Lift your chest. Let's do left foot steps forward, a big step. Lock both knees, point that right toe, and you come down. Everybody comes down, head, body, leg, everything parallel to the floor. Keep the right hip down, lock the knee, point the toe. Stretch your arms forward, body down, leg up. Stretch, breathe, stretch, stretch, change. Whew. Step back, arms down by your sides, breathe. Y'all got a secret for that one. I need to know what the secret is. You guys make it look easy, really, for sure. All right. Triangle pose. So turn, um, yeah, turn to your right and step towards the left side of your mat. Feet together, toes and heels touch. So two sets of uh, wide leg stretching or separate leg stretching. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Inhale, arms overhead. Bring your right foot out to the right, of at least four feet. Arms down parallel at the same time. Now, toes pointing forward or pigeon toe your feet a little bit. And then lift your chest. Good. Lead with your chest. As you exhale, you go down. Lead with your chest. Chin away from the chest. And when you can't see yourself in the mirror anymore, then reach down and grab your heels. Now, I'm okay if you bend the knees, but get a good grip here. Get a good grip and then lock your knees. Try to get the heels. But if you can't get the heels, get the outside of your feet. And if you can't do that, just put your hands on the floor. That's okay, too. But try to lock your knees. Roll forward. Try to touch your head. If it doesn't touch, open up your legs more and more and more. Now, if you happen to have a mirror to the side of you like these ladies do, you're going to take a peek in the side mirror and make sure your spine is nice and straight. If it's not, think about your chest coming down a little bit more. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Touch your head. Change. Inhale, come out opposite way you went in. Right foot back to place. Arms down and breathe. Chest up, shoulders relax. Let's do that again. Feet together, toes and heels touch. Inhale, arms overhead. And we go right foot step to the right, big step. Four feet minimum, arms out. And maybe pigeon toe the feet. Lift your chest, lock your knees, and you go down. Yes, night straight spine. Now grab your heels from behind or the outside of the feet or hands on the floor. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Good. Roll forward, body weight into the toes like a wheel. Stretching the backs of the legs, the hips, the low back. Total spine, spine stretching one day, touching the forehead between the legs. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Touch your head. Nice, Rebecca. Inhale, slowly come back up. Nice and controlled. Good. Step right foot back. Arms down and breathe. All right, triangle pose, trikonasana, one set. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> I could be mean and do like Sam does sometimes and say two, but I won't because I, I, you know, I'm not mean like Sam. <laughs> I love you, Sam. <laughs> Feet together, toes and heels touch. <laughs> oh, he knows. Arms overhead. I got a pick on him because I haven't seen him. And uh, right foot steps out to the right. Arms down parallel. Now turn your right toes out. Now, a pretty long stance here, pretty long stance for everybody. And then bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times. Make sure you're low enough. Right thigh, bicep parallel to the floor. Now, hips go forward towards the wall in front of you, upper body towards the wall behind you. Chest is lifted. Now, turn your palms to the front wall, to the mirror or wall in front of you, and then move both arms at the same time. Bring your right elbow in front of your right knee. Stretch your fingertips down between big toe, second toe, but no pressure on the floor. Stretch your left arm up. Look up. Profile visible in the front mirror. It's a rotation. So nice. Now, bring your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Twist your spine. Touch your toe. Good. Right leg, uh, Left leg locked, left foot flat, belly in. Inhale, come up. Straighten your right leg. Turn your right toes forward, left toes out. Bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times. Now, what's really important here is to keep your back leg engaged. Because if you let the left leg do it all, you won't be able to stay there. Also, breathe. Hips forward, upper body back. 
Turn your palms, move both arms at the same time. Bring your left elbow in front of the right left knee. Fingertips maybe touch between big toe, second toe, but no pressure. Stretch your right arm up. Look up. Now your right hip is forward a little bit. Push the left knee back with the help of the elbow. Stretch up like natural human traction here. Look up. Shoulder and chin touching. Breathe. Nice, Jen. Lock out that right leg, right foot flat. Inhale, come up. Good. Straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes forward. Right foot back to place. Relax. Breathe. All right. Head to knee. Separate leg, head to knee. Feet together. Toes and heels touch. Arms overhead. Just cross thumbs. Just cross thumbs. But your palms are together still. Step your right foot out to the right. Three feet. Not as wide as on that last one. And then pick up your toes and turn on your heels. Pivot to the right all the way, 180 degrees. Now turn your hips. Boom, boom, boom. Get a little action that happened in the hips there. And two feet are in, two heels in one line, backside foot, 45 degree angle. Arms and head together. You go down. Tuck your chin and touch your forehead to knee. Forehead and knee must touch. So bend that right knee up as much as possible to get the forehead and knee to touch. Stretch your fingertips beyond your toes. Put some pressure on the floor, getting those arms straight. And if you put pressure on the floor, it's going to help you lock out that right leg a couple of times. Arms and head together, opposite way you went in. Nice and slow from the hips, from the belly. You come up. Nice. Then pick up the toes. Turn to the left. Turn again to the left. All the way, turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times. Get that right hip forward because we're going to try to keep that alignment. Two heels in one line, backside foot forward to five degree angle, and then arms and head together, you go down. Nice and controlled and slow. Tuck your chin and touch your forehead to knee. Forehead and knee must touch. So bend your left knee up as much as you need to to get the forehead knee to touch. Now you want to know a secret? I can't still touch my forehead to my knee. I don't care how much I bend that knee. I got some stuff going on in the front here and it just doesn't happen. So <laughs> but the idea is to try to get the forehead and knee to touch. Stretch those fingertips beyond your toes. Try to lock out that left leg a couple of times. Arms and head together. You come back up. Nice. Turn to the right and step your right foot back to place. Arms down by your side. Chest is lifted. Shoulders relax. So go ahead and turn to the front of your mat again and taking tree pose. So we have two postures and then we get our break. So tree pose, Tadasana. So you want Tadasana, you want tree pose and really every pose to kind of feel like, you know, you walk into the room and you're like, ta-da, like here I am, right? This sense of confidence, right? So feel that in your Tadasana. Feel grounded and ta-da. So keep that in mind. Here we go. Bring your right leg up. Hold on with your left hand underneath your right foot. Sole the foot facing the ceiling. And then very carefully, gently, right knee down and back. But no, no knee pain. So maybe support the knee if you need to. Modify if you need to. Definitely don't push through knee pain here. But try to get that right knee down and back. Hips forward a little bit. Chest is lifted. Ta-da. Left hand up. Uh, right hand up, sorry. Right hand up. And if the foot doesn't slip, left hand up. Breathe. Chest is lifted. Shoulder relax. Space between the teeth. Change. Nice. Bring your left leg up. Hold on with your right hand underneath the left foot. Sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Slowly, carefully, the left knee down and back. No, really push down through that right leg. Chest is lifted. Ta-da. Sana. Breathe. Settle. Left hand up. Right hand up. Change. Way to recover. Yeah, nice. Good. So one of the hardest things is, you know, not only just balancing, but if you start to fall and then you recover because you kind of soften somewhere and you go to your breath, um, that's uh, super challenging. So super awesome when you can do that. All right, we have toe stand or second set of tree pose. So uh, maybe do second set of tree pose. Do exactly what you just did. If you want to do toe stand, it goes like this. Focus four feet in front of you. Bring your right foot up, middle of the thigh or higher, just like you did for tree, um, as high as you can there. 
focus four feet in front of you. Bring your palms together and bend your body down towards the floor. When your hands touch, you'll bend your left knee and sit down. Arms alongside the body. You'll balance on the fingertips, lifting up off the heel about a half an inch. Eventually, two knees will be in one line. Right hand up, left hand up. Chest is lifting. Everybody chest lifted. Change. Come out opposite way you went in. Nice and slow. And right leg release. Tree pose release. Good. So, yeah, give yourself permission to stop where you need to stop. Feel good about the posture that you're in. Make sure you know you've gone too deep if you're clenching your teeth or holding your breath. So bring your left leg up. Focus four feet in front of you on the floor if you're doing toe stand. Tree pose, just repeat what you did before. Bring your palms together for toe stand and bend your body down. When your hands touch the floor, bend your right knee and sit down. Arms alongside the body. Balance on your fingertips. Lift up off the heel a little bit. Two knees in one line. Left hand up, right hand up. Breathe. Change. Inhale, come up opposite way you went down. Maybe early release of that left leg. Very nice. Toe, uh, tree pose release. Nice holding tree pose there. Good. So take a bow, honor your series, your body, turn around, lie down, relax. So we want our heels to touch, toes fall open. And arms alongside the body, palms up. Maybe tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. And you might tuck your chin a little bit here, lengthening the back of the neck. Your eyes are open. So you want to tune in to your breath. Relax. Let's do wind removing pose. Bring your right knee in, just one set. Interlace your fingers a couple inches below the right knee. Try to keep your heel and ankle in line with your hip here. Pull your knee outside of the rib cage. Avoid the rib cage, pull it towards the shoulder armpit area and then pull back in a little bit. Pull down hard. You wanna feel compression in the right uh, lower abdomen and right hip joint. If your left calf muscle isn't touching, you can flex that foot and try to get that left calf muscle to touch. Now elbows in close to the body, back of the neck towards the mat. Pull down hard there, freeze. Change, right leg down, left leg comes in. Same thing, so good for digestion right here. Oh, and then pull the knee outside the rib cage, pull it towards the shoulder armpit, pull down, pull back in a little bit. Feel that compression, left side abdomen. Flexing the right foot if you need to. Back of the neck towards the mat. You're trying to get that left shoulder to come back down. Elbows in. Freeze there. It looks like a passive pose, but it really isn't. It's one of the best postures you can do. It's active, though. Change. Left leg down, arms down. Both legs come up. Grab your elbows around the knees as tight as possible. Nice, tight, compact. And uh, feet relaxed side by side. So if you can't get the elbows, get the forearms. Maybe even just interlace the hands. But it's a nice... Co tight, compact feeling. Suck your stomach in. Back of the neck towards the mat. Eventually, one day, whole spine on the mat. Change. Arms down, legs down. Relax. Savasana. Now we're going to be doing a sit-up, straight leg sit-up. If you need to, you could just roll over onto your belly. You could also bend your knees and rock up, do a little spinal roll. That's okay with me if you want to do it that way. But if you want to do the sit-up, it goes like this. Flex your feet, toes and heels touch. Keep your heels on the floor, arms overhead, cross thumbs. Now, two things here. Keep your heels on the floor, 
keep your arms and head together. Don't let your arms get ahead of you. Tuck your chin a little bit, pull your belly in, press your low back down towards the mat. Think about right below the belly button. Inhale, arms and head together. You come up, grab, sit up, grab your big toes. Nice, double exhale, forehead touches the knees, elbows touch the floor. Turn around, lie down for spine strengthening. One set of, what's this thing called? Bhujangasana Cobra Pose. I really do know what I'm talking about sometimes. <laughs> Every once in a while. Okay, hands underneath your shoulders, tops of fingertips lined up with shoulders, and little baby fingers lined up with the deltoids are right there. Now, legs are together. Lock your knees. Chin is on the floor as best you can. You're already doing an excellent back bend right here. But inhale, come up. Look up and come up. Use 100% of your back strength just to come up halfway. Belly button stays down. Now, Think about energetically trying to pull your elbows, hands back towards the waist. Chest goes forward. Trapezius muscles visible in the front mirror. Freeze here. Slowly come down. Oh, that was beautiful. Turn your head to the right. Arms down by your side. Palms up. Try to get your whole left ear on the mat and let your heels fall open. Big toes together. That's just going to help relax the low back a little bit. Now, if you breathe here, when you think about your lungs being like an accordion, that's kind of what I've been talking about this week, is um, thinking about your, your rib cage and your lungs kind of like an accordion, right? So expanding on that exhale and all the way into the back body and then contracting on the exhale. And I think I said it wrong. Expanding on the inhale. I'm not sure what I said. But I'll, I'll definitely watch and see what I said. <laughs> Expand on the inhale. Contract on the exhale. All right, let's take uh, locust pose. Chin on the floor and get your arms underneath your body. Turn your palms down. So I like to lift up one side of the body and uh, slide that arm underneath there. So you want to get your arms all the way underneath the belly. So your elbows are invisible underneath your belly. Your palms are facing down. Your little baby fingers might be touching each other. And you're spreading the fingers. Your wrist, elbows, thumbs, mm, yeah, they might be talking a little smack to you right now. But it's okay. If they are, it's probably, this is probably what you need. They're tight. They need this stretch. Now, relax your left leg and stretch your right foot back towards the wall behind you and right leg lift up. 45 degrees, half of 90. Now, lock your knee, point your toe. Keep your right hip down. Just lift your right leg. Change. Right leg down. Relax the right leg. And left leg. Stretch it back. Lift it up. Lock the knee, point the toe. 45 degrees, half of 90. Lock the knee, point the toe, lift it up. Nice change. All right, bring your mouth to the mat, readjust your hands, arms, try to get them closer together. Now, a lot of people like to tuck the toes and shift their weight forward here. That does seem to help a little bit. And then grip the floor, lock your legs, both legs come up. Both legs come up, lift up. Work a little bit harder, come up a little bit higher. That is amazing, Rebecca, nice. Slowly come down. Bring your arms out, turn your palms up, turn your head to the left, arms down by your side, palms up. Try to get the whole right ear on the mat. You want this range of motion in your neck. You don't want to lose this. And mostly we lose it because we don't do it. We don't use it. So make sure you're trying to get that range of motion in your neck. All right, full locust pose, chin on the floor, arms out like airplane wings, five fingers together, zip your legs up, you have one leg. We're doing two sets of this though. Look up, inhale, go up, chest up, head up, arms up, legs up, everything comes up. It's like a 747 taking off, so it's nice and slow. Chest up, only hip bones are touching. Beautiful, Jen, come up a little bit higher, chest up, chest up slowly come down. That was amazing. Turn your head to the right, arms down by your side, palms up. Let it go, breathe. So feel that accordion like feeling in your rib cage and lungs. So you might feel the belly pressing into the mat a little bit. Let's do second set. Chin on the floor, arms out like airplane wings, five fingers together, zip your legs up. 
Everything's tight. Let's go. Inhale, look up and go up. Head up, chest up, arms up, legs up. Think about the muscles between your shoulder blades and keep lifting your chest up. Turn your palms to face the front mirror there. Lift up, fingertips in line with the top of the head. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Woo, slowly come down. Turn your head to the left, arms down by your side, right here on the mat. Let it go. Breathe. So what I love about these spine strengthening postures is, of course, strengthening the spine. Hello, that's what they're called. So that's good. Opening up the front of the body, good. But also, we're putting some pressure right here uh, in the abdomen. So right here by the diaphragm, by the gut, you have some lymph nodes right here, which is your immune system, the lymph. So we're putting a little pressure there. That's going to help move that lymph through your body help keep you a good digestive system. Let's do bow pose, two sets. Chin on the floor, reach back for the tops of your feet. A couple inches below the toes. Try to get your knees as close as you can. They don't have to touch, but try to get them close. Arms and legs look like two wheels and one base. Relax your shoulder. Look up and slowly, gently kick back, kick up. Keep kicking. Roll forward into the belly. Keep kicking back, kick up, look up, go up. Keep kicking. Slowly come down. Turn your head to the right, arms down by your side, palms up. So how you come in and out of postures, in my opinion, is more important than when you're in the posture. You really can't put a level of importance, but if I had to, I would say coming in and out because it's at least just as important because um, you don't want to collapse out of a posture. All right, chin on the floor. Second set, reach back, grab the tops of your feet. Good, try to get those knees in. Relax your shoulders, let the kick drive the pose. Slowly, gently, kick your feet into your hands. Kick back, kick up. When you kick back, your chest will lift. When you kick up, your knees will lift. Look up and go up. Keep kicking up and back. Keep kicking. Roll forward. Kick up, kick back. Yes, slowly come down. Turn your head to the left, arms down by your side. Let it go. Breathe. All right, if we're feeling pretty spunky, we can place our hands underneath our shoulders and push straight up to a plank pose and come to knees. Otherwise, just come to your knees and then sit and make your way up to the top of the mat for fixed firm pose. So come to the top of your mat, sit down Japanese style, hips and heels touching, and then separate your feet and sit your butt down between your feet. Hips and heels touching throughout the posture. Now, if your feet hurt, top of your feet or your knees hurt, feel free to open up your knees as wide as you need to, like as wide as your mat if you need to. No knee pain. You can always keep weight in your hands here. But if you're good to go, hands on your feet, and you start to come back, one elbow and then the other elbow. We're only doing one set here. And once you come back onto the elbows, go ahead and tuck that tailbone and tilt the pelvis, and then come on down. Top of the head, back of the head, shoulders come down, whole upper body comes down. And then bring your arms over your head, hold on to your elbows, pull your elbows down towards the floor, lift your chest, tuck your chin a little bit, lift your chest and abdomen, create natural human bridge. Now maybe press your toenails down into the mat. That'll give you a little extra stretch in the front of those quads. Change, hands back to your feet. Nice and slow, you come up opposite way you went down. Gorgeous, turn around, lie down, relax. Let it go, breathe. Relax the jaw. Relax between the eyes. Let's do that setup. Flex your feet, toes and heels touch. Arms overhead, cross thumbs. Arms and head together. Pull your belly in. R think about right below the belly button, about a couple inches below the belly. From there, arms and head together. Inhale, sit up, grab those big toes, double exhale. Nice. Turn around. Uh, let's see, where are we? Oh. Uh, half towards. So come to the middle of your mat or the back of the mat. Sit down Japanese style. Hips and heels touching this time throughout the posture. No gap underneath the ankles. Now bring your arms over your head. Just cross your thumbs. Lift your chest. Good. Tuck your stomach in. Arms and head together. You go down. Nice and controlled. Now maybe forehead touches. 
Let the outside edge of your pinky fingers touch. Stretch your fingertips forward and stretch your hips back. Chin away from the chest. So I want to really see some stretching forward with the fingertips, like you're going to touch the front of your mat or the wall across the room, and stretch your hips back. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Arms and head together, nice and slow. You come up with control. Really good. Arms down by your sides. Turn around. Lie down. Relax. Oh, so good. That one's really good for a lot of muscles that um, have insertion points or attachments right there, like kind of behind the armpit. Um, several muscles come in there and attach. So when you stretch forward, you really stretch, like they say, shoulder scapula coming out of the body. You really are going to feel that stretch right there. So good for you because that's a hard place to get into to stretch. Let's flex the feet, toes and heels touch, arms overhead, cross thumbs, arms and head together, inhale, arms and head together, sit up, grab those big toes. Very good. Turn around. Come to the top of your mat, camel pose. Two sets. So uh, come up on your knees, stand up on your knees, feet, knees about hip distance apart. Maybe take your shoulders, roll them up, back and down, place your hands on your hips. Now, try to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Try to get your elbows to come together and lift your chest. Already you've started the posture. Now take your head back and relax right there. You can stay right there. If it's feeling pretty comfortable, bring your right hand to right heel, left hand to left heel. Make sure you're breathing. Now push down into your knees and push your hips forward. Lift your chest. Gorgeous. Both of you. Beautiful. Breathe. Now. Slowly, hands back to the hips. You come back up opposite way you went down. Turn around, lie down, relax. That was gorgeous. That posture right there is so good for you. Oh, but at the same time, if you're new to it, it might you might get a little nauseous. You're stretching your stomach. You might feel a little dizzy if you come in and out of it too quickly. So take your time. Give yourself permission to stop where you need, especially if you're just beginning. Let's flex the feet, toes and heels touch. Let's do it again. Arms overhead, arms and head together. Inhale, sit up, grab those big toes. Good. Yay, turn around. Come back to top of your mat. Second set. Maybe open up your knees a little bit wider. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Set the stage, hands on your hips, fingers down, thumbs out. Squeeze those elbows toward one another. Push your hips forward, take your head back. Take your eyes back. Body won't go where the eyes don't go. Left hand, left heel, right hand, right heel. Push down into your knees and push your hips forward. Keep breathing. Little sips of air. Keep breathing. Lift your chest. Change, hands back to your hips. Slowly come up, turn around, lie down, relax. I know y'all feel so much better after that one. Yes. All right, <coughs> the counter pose for camel pose is rabbit pose. So flex your feet, toes and heels, touch, arms overhead, cross thumbs. Inhale, arms and head together, quickly sit up, grab those big toes, double exhale. All right, come to the back of your mat, turn around, come to the back of your mat, sit down Japanese style, grab the towel, put the towel over your heels. So Jen's going to be doing a modification here um, if you're not feeling uh, like rabbit. Yes, thank you, Rebecca, that's a good, good idea. So um, grab your, uh, take the towel, bring the towel over the heels. That's if your hands and feet are sweaty. Fingers inside, thumbs out, sit up nice and tall. Now exaggerate this chin tuck. So tuck that chin, really try to touch it to your chest first and then round down, curl into yourself and bring the forehead to knees and top of the head towards the floor. We'll touch the floor. And then pull on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your hips up towards the ceiling. Yes, yes, you're trying to stack those hips over the knees eventually. Now squeeze your inner thighs toward one another. Pull on your heels. Try to get your heels back together. Change. Inhale, slowly come up. Turn around, lie down, relax. Now the other option, because this right here, this is Bikram's way of doing an inversion. 
Um, and so another option to get an inversion in is to do legs up the wall. So um, yeah, you can just do the legs up the wall for the next round, yeah. Basically getting um, legs and hips a little higher than the head and the heart for your inversion. So let's do it. So Jen, if you want to do legs up the wall, you'll stay right there. And then Rebecca, flex your feet, toes and heels touch, arms overhead, cross thumbs. Think about right below the belly button, pull it in, and from there, inhale, sit up, grab the big toes. Good. Turn around, sit down, grab your heels, maybe grab the towel, put the towel over your heels and grab the towels over the heels, fingers in, thumbs out. Sit up nice and tall, tuck that chin and exaggerate it, curl down, roll in, forehead touches the knees, automatically head, top of the head touches the mat. Pull on your heel, lift your hips up. Try to squeeze your inner thighs together. Try to get those heels together. If you're doing legs up the wall, you can have the knees bent and hold on to the backs of the legs. You, she's got her hands underneath. Yeah, you can do it that way, hands underneath. If you have a block or a pillow at home to elevate those hips a little bit, that would be amazing too. So um, I personally love legs up the wall. If you've ever taken my class, you know that. Yes, go ahead and change, Rebecca. Yes, yay. Sorry to keep you there for so long. <laughs> Turn around, lie down, relax. But if you're doing like legs up the wall or shoulder stand, um, try to do an inversion of three minutes a day, especially right now uh, for your immune system. It doesn't have to be anything fancy hard. Usually the most basic functional movements are the most beneficial. So keep that in mind. Let's flex the feet, toes and heels touch, arms overhead, cross thumbs, arms and head together. Don't let those arms get ahead of you. Inhale, sit up, grab those big toes. Good, turn around, stay seated. Right leg out corner wise, left knee bends, sole of the foot, sole of the left foot on the inside of the right thigh. Sit up nice and tall, arms overhead, and come down, grab your right foot. Now, a couple inches below the toes, Bend your right knee up just like rabbit and try to get your forehead and knee to touch. Forehead and knee must touch here. So tuck that chin and get forehead and knee to touch. Now, if your leg is straight and your forehead is touching, lock your knee and try to lift your heel off of the mat. Left knee down, left shoulder flat, or left knee flat, left shoulder down, left elbow down. Inhale, come up, switch it out. Left leg out, right leg in. Nice and tall, arms overhead. Flex that left foot, come down, grab a couple inches below the foot or below the toes. Tuck your chin, round down, just like rabbit, forehead and knee touch. Bend your left knee up. Eventually, you will be able to keep that left leg straight. Yes, you will. I know it seems impossible for sometimes it does, but event you keep trying, you will. You press that left heel forward. And if you can, you flex that foot, lock out that knee. But don't worry about it if you're not. Just get the forehead and knee to touch. Change. Inhale, come up. Both legs out. Lie down. And quickly sit up. You got it. Double exhale. Good. Now hook your big toes. Take your peace fingers, middle finger, index finger, in between big toe, second toe. Maybe walk your hips back a couple of times. Lift up and then stretch forward. Your chest stays lifted. Your head stays lifted. Try to lock your knees here. If you do, try to lift your heels up again. Tremendous calf stretch if you can lift those heels up here. If the pinky toes want to go away from you, try to bring the pinky toes back towards you. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Change. Turn around, lie down, relax. We just have one more posture, one more breathing exercise, and we'll be bouncing. Let's do it. Flex your feet, toes and heels touch, arms overhead, cross thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, sit up, grab those big toes, double exhale, forehead touches the knees, elbows touch the floor. Turn around and uh, bend your left knee or keep your left leg straight. Step your right foot over, this is the twist. Step your right foot over so that your heel is in line with the top of your left knee. Sit up nice and tall, left arm comes up. 
And then a little rotation to get that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Reach down, push the knee back with the help of the elbow, and reach down, grab your left knee with your left hand if you can. Right hand behind you, close to the body to help you sit up nice and straight, or wrap it behind, palm facing out, palm flat. Sit up nice and tall on the inhale, twist to the right on the exhale, twist. Look over the right shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Change, unwind and rewind. So maybe right knee bends or maybe right leg stays straight. Sit up nice and tall, left foot steps over just at the top corner of that right knee. Sit up nice and tall, right arm comes up and bring it to the outside of the left knee. Now a little hack here is you can use your left hand to push that left knee over and get that right elbow to the outside of the knee. Reach down, right hand, right knee connection, left hand behind you, sit up nice and tall. On the exhale, twist to your left, look over the left shoulder, out the corner of your left eye. Every vertebrae twisting, twist, twist, twist. Change, unwind, turn around, lie down, relax. We have a breathing exercise to go. Kapalbhati. Flex your feet, toes and heels touch. One more sit up. Flex your feet, toes and heels touch. I already said that. Arms overhead, <laughs> arms and head together. Inhale, sit up. Double exhale. Good. All right, turn around. Come up onto your knees if you can. Sit down Japanese style. But if not, you can sit in Sukhasana, easy pose with crossed legs. You can even sit with straight leg if you need to. But I just want you to be comfortable and nice and tall. Hands on your knees. Elbows are locked. That's going to help you sit up tall if you lock your elbows here. Now, it's a forceful exhale. <laughs> Inhale will happen automatically. You want the belly going in and out. The diaphragm is going to push that belly in and out as you breathe in and out through the mouth. So just relax here for a moment. Let's exhale all of the air. Take a deep inhale. And begin. Relax shoulders, sit up tall. A little bit faster. Three, two, one. Very nice. Turn around, lie down, relax. Savasana. So for this one, you can um, close your eyes. You can have your heels slide out to the corners of your mat. Relax your jaw, space between the teeth. Maybe bring awareness to your breath for a couple of breaths. Just to remind yourself you're right here, right now. Let go of any worries, any grievances. Let them roll off of your shoulders, off of your mat, completely away from you. Take a couple of moments. I love y'all. Namaste.